Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another weekly grind video. If you didn't check out last week's video, we will be now splitting the weekly grind video into a JP version and a global version. This week is going to be JP, next week will be global, followed by JP, followed by global, so they will ro be rotating every Wednesday. That way the videos can be shorter and you can get more relevant and less repetitive information. So anyway, we are here for the weekly grind video where I go over all of the events and the gotchas that are currently available in game. This video is going to be a lot shorter than regularly because there's not a lot going on on JP. Everything ends tomorrow. Most most of the stuff ends tomorrow. So we don't really have a lot to talk about in terms of current event. Let's jump into it. The LR Trunks is currently available. It runs until 621. So this is going to be running for the rest of the June or at least most of June. You can go in. It's just a typical prime battle. By prime battle, I mean that he is going to be available uh to grind out for free, a free-to-play Trunks, a free-to-play LR card, uh, where you can do stage one for the actual grind for the unit. Um, I think the first one's guaranteed, and then everyone after that has an abysmal drop rate. You have level two, which is going to be his TUR Doken Awakening, which is usually a lot easier. And then stage three, where you're going to get, I think it's 777 medals in order to Doken Awaken him. Pain in the butt to do that, definitely a pain in the butt to do that, but he is here, it's his agility LR. He's a cool unit, and I will do a full guide on him when he comes out on Dokkan Battle Builder. That way I can give you a full team building guide to go around him. So we'll talk about his hybrid Saiyan team and all that other stuff. But he is here. You can go ahead and grind him if you plan to. Um, and maybe, you know, if you guys know anything about let me know what you think about his attack power and everything that he has to offer. I personally am not a big fan of him uh, because attack plus 25,000 is not that much. Um, that's what his passive is. So I don't know how much damage he's actually going to do, but max that or mix that with um, his Mega Colossal damage, it might actually do something crazy. But we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, he is this unit over here. Before you Doken Awaken him to LR or either even TUR, highly recommend farming Outstanding Defiant Trunks Teen Future. It'll be a lot easier for you to grind out this card to increase the super attack. This card is going to be available from the Dragon Ball Super Future Trunks Saga event. You're going to grind him out from stage 4, level 4, Trunks Determination. I'll be doing a full guide on that again in the future when I talk about the LR Trunks and the current Prime Battle and the guides to build your teams, because obviously a lot has changed since the last guide I built last summer. Anyway, the Lord Slug event is here. It runs until 6.07 or June 7th, um, so you have another like week to grind that out if you plan to do so. This event, you have the crappy-ass Kid Gohan from Stage 1. You can grind him out if you want to. He also increases the super attack of the SSR Gohan. That is the Intelligence Support Unit. So if you have that Gohan, definitely recommend increasing his super attack. Level 2, you get Lord Slug. Level 3, if you're running low on Sensu Beans, definitely grind them out to get some Sensu Beans. Level 4 is the Kaioken Goku, which can increase the super attack of other Kaioken Goku. So if you have Kaioken Goku on your team, um, that is not this one that, that you have pulled summoned on. You can definitely get it. There's one from the World Tournament. There's definitely one that you could, that you have mainly summoned. I think there is another one as well, but I'm currently on the top of my head. I, I remember those two. The summonable one, the agility summonable one, and the one from the World Tournament. Number five is the Lord Slug Doken Awakening Medals, and level six is the Kaioken Goku Doken Awakening Medal. So that's all here. Again, I don't really think the Gohan's worth it. Lord Slug is always cool to have uh, because you don't he's like... It's only him and his summonable unit, so if you want to have Lord Slug, definitely get him with Super Attack 10. And I mean, honestly, this Goku is not that bad. Just go ahead and grab, get, grab him because he's a Kaioken Goku. Anyway, that's it. That's all that there is to it for that one. It runs until 6.07. The next one is going to be the story event for Bardock, a, a lone warrior or something like that. Runs until tomorrow. Well, tonight, actually. Uh, it ends tonight at 1 a.m., so you only have about half a day to grind that out. So hopefully you guys caught this video in enough time if you're thinking about getting these guys Doken Waken. Um, out of all, out of him and Fasha, you definitely want to get the medals for him if you have him. His passive skill is super useful. He's going to be really good on a, lone war on a, on a low-class warrior team and a transformation team. He's also going to be really good on um, a, like a, a pure Saiyans team if you don't have that many good units. Because his passive skill, even though it does supreme damage, is the passive on his super... His greatly raises attack for one turn, which makes him do a lot more damage. And his passive skill is attack plus 100% when HP is 30% or above, which is most of the time. So he will always be a pretty damn decent unit. Plus he's tech, so he has that free-to-play crit, so if you don't have any dupes of him. I super attack 10 mine, I would recommend doing that myself, but that's what I do. Uh, Fosh is a key orb manipulator, so definitely get her. I also saw something, I don't know if it was a troll or not, I never actually investigated it. But I did see something about Borgas getting a Doken Awakening or something like that, or something coming out in the future with him. 
Um, I, again, I did not investigate it, but I still, even before, when these two got their Doken Awakenings, I grinded out all the other medals as well, just so that way when these guys got Dokenings, that I, could, I can have the medals available so I didn't have to do the grind then. So I would recommend getting all the medals to Doken Awaken them, get the same amount of medals. I believe it's seven to Doken Awaken. So I would recommend getting um, seven of each in order to get them. Definitely check out the wiki if you need to know how many medals to Doken Awaken. Um, or go into the game and look at the, the Doken Awakening little symbol when you try to Doken Awaken. You'll know exactly what you need to do. But definitely go for the Barok. The, in order to get the Frieza, it's level six. Level six on Z Hard will get you the, the Frieza medals in order to, to um, ink to uh, Doken Awaken it. Next one is going to be <clears throat> the... Um, this is the Extreme uh, Z Awakening for the Goku, Goten, and Gohan. Uh, I would highly recommend focusing on the Gohan. Um, obviously, it's the Extreme Z Awakening, so you're just going to go through the levels. They all get you get the medals from each of them. But um, I, I would definitely focus on the Gohan out of all of them. It, just go ahead and do it. It runs until tomorrow daily, and then it's going to be available intermittently when, it's, when it is. Just go ahead and grab it. I can't wait for it to come out on the global side. I'm definitely going to get my Gohan all maxed out. He's already had Super Tech 10 with all four Dupes unlocked. And I got dupe system fed into him, so he got like full crit on him and whatnot. So I can't wait for that to happen. Um, anyway, the uh, the actual event is available as well. In order to get these guys Doken Awakening, if you summon on the banner, uh, Shamo is available on stage one. Sensu Beans are on stage three. Videls are available on stage five. Videl is really good to increase the super attack of the Intelligence Videl. That Intelligence Videl is actually really good. Some people are talking smack. I mean, I personally like Videl. I think she's a really good unit um, with her passive. I think she's a debuffer. She's a stunner. And... Um, yeah, she's actually just really freaking good. Uh, get her if you if you plan on doing um, dupe system. I, I don't. I if I did, I would give her full additionals, but that's my thing because of her debuffing ability. Uh, but definitely give her additionals. That's my opinion on the matter. Uh, level six is going to be the uh, awakening medals. The Doken awaken your Goku, Gohan, and Trunks. Trunks. Goten, Gohan, Go Goku, Gohan, and Goten. Uh, definitely recommend grinding out. It is a pain in the butt because all three of them drop. So you need to get we need to get all three of them. Like I think like seven of each. I ended up getting. Uh, 20, like, 8 of those Gokus before I got enough Trunks, I mean, Goten medals in order to get him Doken Awakened. I don't know why I keep on saying Trunks. I always call Goten Trunks, but whatever. Um, and that's about it. Also, Videl, she is paying the butt to drop as well, but you should get her and this Go uh, this Trunks up to Super Attack 10 just because you can. Um, outside of that, that's all there is to it <clears throat> for this event. It runs until t tonight as well, so go ahead and grind it out while you can. You only have about, you know, 12, 13, 14 hours left. Um, anyway, the in terms of banners, there's only two banners that are currently available. You have the LR Bardock banner and the Lord Slug. They are two in one, so you can go ahead and grab either of them. I really hope you guys luck. Wish you guys luck if you guys summon on this. I personally did not, but I also don't get stones. I don't buy stones on this game. So if you guys are getting stones in this game, good luck. Let me know what you guys pulled down in the comments below. I personally would like Bardock, but that's just because I'm a Bardock fanboy. I can't, you know, that's all there is to it. Um, and Lord Slug, the giant transformation. By the way, remember the Lord Slug before you Doken Awaken him will increase his super attack with that free-to-play Lord Slug. So that's going to be here until 531, so that's going to end tonight as well. And you have the Kamehameha Goku family that runs until tonight as well. It's just the three of them on a banner. That's it. So that's really all that's going on for the JP side of Dokkan Battle. Go ahead, check out my update that I did last night for the most recent data download if you want the other news. Uh, but that's about it, guys. Thank you for joining me here today. Let me know what you guys summoned on, if you guys pulled, if you guys are waiting, and if you guys are hyped for the new Prime Battle LR Trump. But anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you for joining me, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.